So the natural logarithm function and the natural exponential function are inverses of each other. That is, one is the inverse of the other. So if I have y equal log x and y equal e to the x, I know they're inverse functions. So what about inverse functions? What's kind of important about them? Well, they undo each other. So we write that in function notation this way. f of f inverse of x is the same as f inverse of f of x, which is just x. So if you start with one, do the other one to it, you always end up back where you started from at x. So what does that mean as far as logarithmic functions and exponential functions go? It means this. The natural logarithm of e to the x is x. That's the same as saying this right here. But we, we don't have to go to that trouble. It's actually more intuitive to, than that. This right here is an exponent. In particular, it's the exponent I need on e to get e to the x. Well, what exponent do you put on e in order to get e to the x? x. So that's why this is x. Right here, this number is the exponent I need on e to get x. So that's a specific exponent, the one that I need to put on e in order to get x. Well, if I take that exponent and raise e to it, what do I get? x, because it's specifically the exponent I need on e to get x. If I raise e to that exponent, I must get x. So these two expressions right here turn out to be two very special identities when it comes to working with logarithms. And so even though they might not seem real intuitive at the moment, still they're very special identities. Now you might have been wondering why this little postage stamp right here from Nicaragua has been following us around. Well, it's because the, one of these formulas is actually on this postage stamp. So let me take you to the computer right now and I'll show it to you a little more close up. So here's our postage stamp from Nicaragua, and you can see right up here is one of those identities we just talked about. e to the log n is equal to n. Now they're using an n instead of x like we do, but it's the same relationship, and it's on this postage stamp right here from Nicaragua, and the postage stamp says something like the 10 formulas in mathematics that change the world. So pretty important formula or identity if it's on a postage stamp. So I think that's kind of neat that we have a postage stamp that has one of these two identities right here that we're going to be working with in this section. So uh, important identities, important enough that they put them on that postage stamp and the stamp in that, that series of stamps, so there's 10 stamps on formulas in mathematics that change the world. So these identities actually are pretty important. We're going to work with them a little bit more in the rest of this chapter.